This is WCBI News Sunrise, keeping you informed. Time is now 521. Thanks to the efforts of several North Mississippi communities, area residents were able to properly dispose of unused and unwanted prescription medications. WCBI's Chad Groening has the story. The Lee County Sheriff's Office was bustling with visitors, bringing their old prescriptions to this drop-off point. This woman had so many prescriptions that they provided her curb service. She literally brought everything but the kitchen or bathroom sink. Jan Hillen is a Region 3 Prevention Specialist in Tupelo. She says this was part of a nationwide effort known as the American Medicine Chest Challenge. It gives um, people in Lee County the opportunity to bring by their um, unused prescription medicines. And all over the United States they are collecting old medicines, um, unused prescription medicines that people have that need to dispose of. You might wonder why it is so important to take something perfectly legal like your old prescriptions and bring them here rather than toss them in the trash or flush them down the toilet. It's very important for them to dispose of them properly. Um, a lot of people think it's just a good thing just to drop, you know, flush them down the toilet. But um, we've heard that that might get back in the system, so um, this is just a safe way to get rid of your drugs. Trash is not good because you never know who's going to go through your trash. I just don't think they need unused drugs at home, around their home. It, it could, uh, burglary could occur. Uh, children around the house, visitors could get a hold to it, you never know. So I just think it's a good idea to dispose of them. Corporal Michelle Wells is a DARE officer with the Lee County Sheriff's Department. It is actually against the law to take any prescription medicine that does not belong to you. If your name is not on that prescription, then you shouldn't take it. it th that prescription is, the person's name on that prescription is only for that person not for anyone else. Wells says the penalty for using unauthorized prescriptions varies depending upon whether the person is a first-time offender or an habitual violator. All of the medicines collected Saturday will be incinerated by law enforcement personnel. The response was so great they will likely open a permanent drop-off point in the future. Chad Groening, WCBI News, Tupelo. Drop-offs could also be found in Amory, Aberdeen, Houston and Pontotoc. 